Esme was walking in the forest. She got lost, but found the witch's house. She walked in to ask for her help. The witch and the cat had a guest. The witch's grandson came to visit. The grandson had heard of Esme and of her ability to solve riddles. So, he had a riddle for her too. He took a t-shirt and cut two holes in it. The question was, how many holes does the t-shirt have now? Eight. With two holes cut through, there are two on each side, four in total. Plus, there are two holes for the arms, one for the head, and one at the bottom. Do you see a fake human here? It's winter and it's cold, but this guy is only wearing shorts. That's some non-human ability to tolerate cold temperatures. What about this one? Take a closer look at what this guy is eating. It doesn't look like human food at all. What's really off here? Look at the flag at the top of the building and at the tree nearby. It seems that the wind is blowing in different directions. This is impossible. Serafina and Flora wanted to go to a party, but their parents had grounded them. Serafina decided to leave through the back door, and Flora wanted to sneak out through her bedroom window. Who will not make it to the party? Probably Flora. Her father is sitting next to her window, reading a book. He'll probably see her leaving. Now, take a look at these pictures of Philip and Kai. One of them lives with his girlfriend. Can you tell who it is? There's a pair of high heels and a dress in Philip's wardrobe. He probably has a girlfriend. A group of aliens from another galaxy discovered planet Earth and decided to study people. Four of them turned into humans and went to our planet to explore. But the aliens didn't really succeed in pretending to be humans. Take a look at these photos and try to find an alien. Here's the first image. Can you spot anything strange? This guy's skin is blue. He must be the alien. Brooke and Sydney were going to learn how to swim. Brooke went to the lake near her house, and Sydney went to the ocean with her friends. Who is in greater danger? Brooke, she went alone. There was no one around to save her in case something goes wrong. Brielle got a new bike as a present for her birthday. It was a surprise, so she locked it in the room and left for work. When she returned, the bike wasn't there. She realized someone in her family must have pulled a prank. Her brother said he hadn't seen anything. Her dad said he'd noticed a bike while walking past her room. But she was in a hurry to get to work. Her mom said she'd spent the day downstairs making a cake. Who pulled the prank? It must be Brielle's dad. She locked the room so he couldn't see the bike unless he walked in. What do you say here? Did you notice this one has six fingers? I bet it's him. Look at Luna and Evadine's rooms. One of the girls has a sister who she shares the room with. Can you tell who has a sister? There's a bunk bed in Luna's room. I bet she has a sibling. Pay attention to the smallest details. What's wrong here? The school bus doesn't have a door. Something's off with this image. What is it? Look at the clock. In the winter, no sunset can happen at this hour. Mrs. Lawrence has three daughters who she doesn't allow to go outside after 8 p.m. 
The woman was at work when a neighbor called her and said she'd seen one of her daughters in the mall. Mrs. Lawrence immediately called each of her girls. Mia said she'd been playing badminton outside. Nicole said she had an online study session with her friends. Quinn said she'd been playing computer games. Who lied? Mia. She couldn't play badminton alone, and since her sisters were all busy, they couldn't play with her. This one is pretty simple. What will you say? The reflection in the mirror is wrong. Mrs. Jordan loved music. So she sent her daughter, Gianna, to music school. The woman made the girl play every day. Once, Mrs. Jordan had to go on a business trip for two weeks. She asked Gianna to practice every day, and the girl agreed. When Mrs. Jordan came back two weeks later, she realized Gianna hadn't been practicing. How did she understand it? The piano is dusty, which means it's been a while since Gianna last opened it. Chris and William are getting ready for the day. Which of them doesn't live alone? William is brushing his teeth, but there is one more toothbrush in the bathroom. It's likely to belong to someone else, so I'd say William doesn't live alone. In a magical world, there are two cities connected by a bridge. The city on the left bank of the river is guarded. No one can enter or leave it without written permission. Ellie was held captive in this city. She managed to escape and needed to get to the other side. It took 10 minutes to cross the bridge, but the guard came out of his house every five minutes. How can Ellie cross the bridge? Ellie should leave the city when the guard goes back to his house. Five minutes later, she should turn around and walk back towards the guard. When she approaches the man, he'll think she's trying to come in. But since Ellie won't have any permission, he'll send her back to the city on the right bank of the river. Okay, one of these guys has a cat. Can you tell who it is? It's the guy on the right. Look, the wallpaper at the bottom of the wall is scratched. Every weekday, Kennedy eats an apple on her way to work. Once, she noticed a woman selling flowers. The woman gave a man a bouquet and said, tuna sandwich. The next day, it was yogurt, directed at another person. On the third day, it was eggs. Kennedy got curious and walked up to the woman to get some flowers. The woman said, apple. What was her weird ability? The woman always knew the last thing her client ate. I have a friend, Anna. Her mom is the most unusual person I know. She has green hair, wears skirts with trousers, and has a pet raccoon. She also has three daughters. Her oldest daughter's name is Wednesday. Her middle daughter's name is Thursday. Can you guess what her youngest daughter's name is? Well, it's Anna's mom, so her third daughter's name is Anna. One rich and well-known elderly woman, Mrs. Stevenson, had been living alone for years. She had one interesting quirk. Every time someone rang the doorbell, she wouldn't open the door without putting on her coat and hat first. Can you guess why? She didn't know who the visitor was until she opened the door. If she liked that person, she'd tell them she'd just returned home and invite them to come in. If it was someone she didn't want to spend time with, she said she was leaving. Della and Aurora always tell the truth, but on their birthdays, they always lie. Today is September 3rd, and their friend Mark asks them when their birthdays are. Della says it was yesterday. Aurora says it's tomorrow. The next day, the guy asks the same question, but their answers don't change. When are the girls' birthdays?
each of them lied on one of the days. So these two days must be their birthdays. Della said it was yesterday both times, so her birthday must be on September 3rd. Then, the next day, she told the truth. September 4th is Aurora's birthday. She told the truth on the first day and then lied on her birthday. Simon had a crush on a new girl in his class. Finally, he asked her out on a date. To impress her, he told the girl he had undergone a special secret training program. And then, he visited the moon. He even had a picture. The girl took a look at it but didn't believe Simon. Why? In the picture, Simon is standing on the moon. Still, there's another moon in the background, which is impossible. He might have cool Photoshop skills, but he definitely hadn't thought it through. Hazley and Skylar are jaywalking. Hazley is listening to music and Skylar is texting. Who is in danger? It's Skylar. She's jaywalking right where the road takes a turn. There's a car approaching her, and the driver might not have enough time to react. Now, I'll be showing you some pictures one by one. Your task is to find what's wrong with them. Ready? Here's the first one. The sun is shining, but the camels don't cast shadows. On the first day of college, Ruby went missing. A detective had three suspects. Mrs. Collins, the director, Mr. Wright, the cleaning man, and Cassidy, Ruby's best friend. Mrs. Collins said that she had to do her midterm report and hadn't left her office. Mr. Wright said he hadn't even seen the girl. Cassidy said they'd spent the whole day together at college. But then Ruby went home. Who is lying? It must be the director, Mrs. Collins. It was the first day of college. There couldn't possibly be any midterm reports yet. 